everyone, Shantae here. Hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. So I wanted to come in and share with you guys um, my project for uh, me and Joy Saturday morning challenge of friends. So we had a couple of things for this particular one. First, we had to use the We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board. We both been had this and hadn't used it. So we bust that open. I literally just bust that open for this. We also had to make an album with a minimum of six pages. And we had to add a key on it because it is the month of love, shorty. <laughs> All right. So let me show you what else I use for my um, album. The collection that I use was this one right here by... Uh, Hobby Lobby, and I tell you, um, I was trying to kill this pad, but it just kept, it just won't die. Just keep giving, giving, and giving. Um, I use this Richard Garay, um, die right here, this big envelope. It is humongous. You have to use a, like an eight and a half by 11 cutter for it to work, and it's called the Mail Note die. I use Fawn Staples Journey, this pocket card die, Fawn Staples Journey heart scallop pocket, this Sizzix die right here that has all those inserts by Lori Whitlock. And I hope, oh, let me cut my other light on. That's why it's a little dark. I use this Lori Whitlock die. I use this Laura Whitlock die right here. Um, on I also used this Love die by Recollections. So this die right here is humongous. It was on clearance, so I just I just bought it like last week. It was on clearance for like three dollars and fifty cent or something like that. So you can get an idea of it. And oh my gosh, I love this die. I have. Quite a few of the Michaels brand dies, and they all cut like a dream. And my base, I used the Zutter corrugated um, board. Seven, I made a seven by seven album. Now, at first, I was going to, um, you know, do some, try to <laughs> do something like this on the cover, but yeah, I didn't after I started layering because I've been in a funk lately. So yeah, but anyway, let me get to this album. And I do love the way it turned out. It is humongous because it's a 7x7. Seven seven. Humongous for me because y'all know I love cards. But I've been in a little dry spell, so I'm just trying to change it up some. Try to get my five back. So this is the front cover right here. So you see I just um, used my homemade spray and sprayed it. Um, this dock, like I said, it cuts out well. That is the Hobby Lobby um car stock glitter that won't rub off and then I use Micah's 110 to um do the little all the little layers you see on the love and then I just um use wild um uh, wild lock and crap all these other flowers and want to scrap on the cover and I dyed seam binding uh for the two rings these are two inch rings and at first um uh, two inches was too big now it's not big enough because now I'm getting alligator mouth because I put so much. I keep adding stuff to it. Here is the one of the Tim Holtz keys that says love. All right. So let me zoom in some more. So that is the front cover. All right. So on this side, here is one of the pages. And a photo can just go right here. Um, right here and I use more metal another key and to glue the flowers keys um, the metal everything down I use my Helmers um, glue it reminds you of Fabri-Tac but it's by Helmers I use that to glue everything down all right on um, this page right here see we have a um, pocket 
and on here in the pocket oh i use my distress at all to distress all the edges to make it look warm and tat worn and tattered on the edges i used to distress it all i hadn't used that thing in years and it still worked i was like yes okay so here we go that's the pocket and then we have the, where well, i used to tap punch board for a photo mat and then we have the album inserts right here for photos as well and i have no clue what i'm gonna do with this album i don't take a whole lot of pictures i just needed to make something different okay on the next page right here we have a waterfall these right here comes from i think either dollar tree or target something like that and so i have a magnet in clothes and it has um you know the flip ups two four five pictures can go right here like that and you know sprayed to death here's the next page we have a side pocket and i have my flowers and stuff right there um, on there, um, that was a handmade flower that Tamika did for me. It was in a swap years ago, and I have been hoarding them, and I decided to use those. And here are uh, from the die, and then this is the punch board inserts. <clears throat> I put these in last because I actually have forgot that I supposed to use the punch board, and I had to go back and add it later. Okay, so here's the next page right here. <clears throat> And on this page, um, you know, I just clustered the flowers in the bottom at the bow. These are some heart buttons that I ordered from AliExpress. And I just glued this, uh, what this stuff, too, and did a fold out like that for pictures. And then just tied it back up like that, too, from Hobby Live. I thought that was a nice little touch. Okay, and then on the next page, we have another tab insert, and I just did another one of those flowers from Tamika and add the um, bling. There's black back, just plain. All right, and then on this page right here, you just can put a photo or whatever right there, and I just used my skeleton leaves and did some flowers up at the top. I, um double layer flowers to give it more height at the top there all right the next page is where i use that envelope die by richard garay a uh, garay i forgot i don't know exactly how to pronounce his last name but anyway <clears throat> here is um i put the envelope down and then i left the side open to stick things right there so that's what that's for and i instead of me doing the little closure I just closed it off and added Velcro to stick things in the inside. And that's um, a want to scrap piece right there. That's blamed up to death. All right, then we have another, um, I did a top fold. And we have another little collage at the bottom. And a big photo can go right there. And the bottom back is plain for whatever. All right. On the next page, we have this heart die. And these little flowers from um, Hobby Lobby in the Valentine's section this year. And I just made a tap folded book. And then these little two inserts. And they just slide right into this heart pocket. And then if they want to, whoever can put some on the back as well. Okay, the next page is that triple pocket from um fun stampers journey and you already see that um i just um did the flowers in the want to scrap and these do open i glued the side down when you put it together the side be open but i glued it down sort of hate i did that though but um i could still you know you could still add tags in there which i'll do later um i actually forgot for this video though but that's that and then on the last back page, we just have it where um, it has the, the flowers and the collage and everything like that. Big old photo can go right there in the back. All right. So, like I said, still alligator mouth. So, I'm going to have to see if I can find bigger rings. I don't like alligator mouth. But if so, not, it's, it's going to be good because 
this was a work of love. I tell you, I've been working on this thing and working on this thing and working on this thing. I about to want to see another album. <laughs> Oh, I'm just being dramatic, y'all. But anyway, but I love the way this turned out. And hopefully, I'm filming this at night, but hopefully this film will. Um, but that is it. Um, so check out Joyce's video and see what she created. Of course, her link will be in the description bar below. And I'll be back with another video, guys. Bye. Stay strong.